Welcome to my draw. Today let's talk about how to create an organizational chart. The organizational chart is a diagram showing graphically the relation of one person to another or one company to another. It can be also used to show the relation of one department to another or of one function of an organization to another. The chart is valuable in that it enables us to visualize a complete organization. A company's organizational chart typically illustrates relations between people within an organization. Such relations might include managers to sub-workers, directors to managing directors, chief executive officers to various departments. In MyDraw you can find many templates for the org chart, but let's dive deeper and try to create one manually. Select new blank drawing. The basic shapes that are used for the management structures could be found in the organizational shape library. Let's add the chief executive officer of the organization. To add the CEO's name double-click on the rectangle and start typing. If you want to justify the text you can use the tools placed in the paragraph ribbon under the Home tab. The next shape in our organizational chart will be for the manager's position. Drag and drop the manager's shape from the shape library and type the employee name. There are three manager's positions in the organization, so I will just copy and paste the manager's shape, then change the names. Every manager has employees. Let's add them to the chart. To do that, drag and drop a shape from the library again. Also the position of the employee must be changed. The connectors between different shapes in the organizational chart show who reports the employee. The last step is to add the connectors with the connector tool. If you have a photo of the employee, you can add it by right-click with the mouse on the yellow rectangle and click on the load image. If you don't have any, you could use the symbol shapes in the symbol shape library. Let's change the colors of the different positions. You can try different combinations and colors. The goal here is to divide the different organizational levels for better understanding. Once the chart is created you can save, send, or export our organizational chart. There are some time-saving tools and techniques that could lay out the shapes quickly and easily, like automatic layouts. Under the Arrange tab, you can find the Layout Shapes button. Click on it and select the layout type that you want to have. The tip over tree layout, for example, is one of the appropriate layouts for this type of diagram. The tip over tree layout is a tree layout, which uses shapes provided data to determine whether the vertex children should be placed in a row, a column, or two columns. It produces orthogonal tree drawings. This type of layout is typically used in org charts, but can also be used in all cases where classical tree layouts do not produce width or height ratio compact results. MyDraw also includes many predefined templates for organizational chart. Each of them has a different style and usage, so you can easily adapt it to your needs. The included templates will save you a lot of time, and the result will be a chart with great design, done quickly and effortlessly. Let's start by choosing one of the templates, it could be opened with a double click. The first item placed on the top of the drawing view is the chart title. It could be changed by double clicking with the mouse button. In the upper right corner of the drawing view, there is the legend for the chart. The legend usually includes a description of the different connections that are used in the diagram. If you want to customize the legend, just double click on the item that you want to be different. Every position in this template is shown as a circle shape. In the upper half, there is a male or female figure, and in the other half, there are fields for names and positions of the employee. The different organizational levels here are shown as different color shapes. Each color and text field could be edited according to your needs. Once you are done with editing hit the save button. 